support of the African struggle against apartheid regime. I remember Bowood was actually a common name at that time, and we all knew about Mandela and Cecil Wood and uh, and uh, quite a number of other leaders. And uh, so you can imagine my excitement when I was the minister and told Mahanda that I invited Mandela soon after the release when he was arrested, he came down. And um, we organized together a great welcome at the Meneka Stadium. Then, of course, then uh, we did the meeting, I remember, I remember that vivid. And naturally, he gets to know me too. I was no, naturally excited. Because this was virtually made known to all students at that time. The struggle against imperialism, colonialism, and gross injustices and racism. Then I was uh, given some time to rest and reflect in prison, of course. And I heard from time to time Mandela was trying his level best to try and secure my release, even offering medical treatment in Joba as his guest. But time was uh, not appropriate, I suppose. Uh, so soon after I was released, after treatment in Munich, I uh, and performed Umrah with the family. Suddenly there was an invitation from Maniva in 2004 to visit South Africa as his guest in Joba. So I, Aziza and the children then went and spent some hours in the first meeting with him. And um, he saw my children and suddenly he became very emotional. We were all disturbed. Uh, so, you know, there's this human trait in him that uh, sometimes is quite ignored uh, because they don't sense the importance of the man as a father who felt that he lost that rare opportunity to be with the children in all those 27 years.